This is your government video on powers of the president. Now we know that the president has some powers that are outlined in the constitution, and then sometimes Congress can give the president more powers. And of course we as citizens elevate the president to a position almost as an idol, and therefore that gives the president power as well. So here's just a list of the things that the president basically does for their job and the things that give the president power in our governmental system. The president is, of course, allowed to veto legislation. He can also pocket veto legislation, which, both of which are in the Constitution. But the president's most important thing that he can do to wield power is being good at bargaining and persuading. The president really can't do much without the consent of Congress. So he needs to bargain and persuade and bring people together and force compromises. And if the president is popular amongst voters, it will be easier for him to do that. If the president's popular, then a lot of members of both parties in the House and Senate are going to want to get pre uh, photos with the president, have photo ops, have the president talk about them on media so that it drives people to vote for them and to, to follow them and to believe that their agenda is good. If the president is popular and he's good at this type of bargaining and persuasion, he can get people on his side. And building that consensus in order to get legislation passed is how the president can solve the problems that he believes exist in the country in the way that he chooses to solve them without just taking Congress's lead in that area. The president can um, issue executive orders. This is just a direct order to somebody who works in the executive branch. Um, executive orders, remember, are temporary, so they either go away at the end of the president's term. Um, they can also be easily overturned by the courts or by a, a, a law passed through Congress. The president can use signing statements. When he signs a bill into law, he gets to put his commentary on the bill. Presidents today are using signing statements similar to a line item veto, where they're being very specific with the members of the executive branch on which parts of the document should be um, enforced or enforced in various ways. Um, sometimes they're even very explicit as to which parts of the bill should not be enforced, thus treating it like a line item veto. The president's main powers in the Constitution are foreign affairs. So the president's role is to build up our relationships with foreign countries. Hopefully those relationships are friendly. That's what we call diplomacy. Um, the president can also work with other countries to sign treaties or executive agreements. An executive agreement is similar to a treaty in that it's a deal we make with a foreign head of state, but similar to the relationship between an executive order and a law, an executive agreement is secret and it does not have to be uh, ratified by the Senate. It is also temporary and it's not funded. And of course, the president can also be the commander in chief of the military if military intervention is needed. Next, you're going to do active learning number five. So get out your active learning paper and do this on paper. I just want you to answer um, these three questions.